the Jumpstart Foundation is an NGO that's uh, working to give this generation of, of South Africans opportunities in the future economy. So um, in South Africa, we've got a massive uh, skills problem in terms of STEM, so science, technology, education, and maths. Um, and our schools just aren't producing the type of competencies we need if we're going to thrive in the future economy. And that's what we as Jumpstart are trying to do. So our main uh, areas are in maths and in robotics and coding. Um, we currently support just under 30,000 learners per year um, on our programs. Yeah, and we really want to hope, we want to stir things up a little bit and fix the system if we can. Um, for the past decade, decade or so, our main focus has been on foundation phase maths, because that's where the kids are, that's where the system loses them. It becomes very curriculum driven and curriculum monitored. And if the kids don't have the basics, like if you can't add, you can't multiply. If you can't subtract, you can't divide. Um, if you don't have the basics in place, you just lost. And, they, and we know from Tim's studies, and, um, which is a big international study that's done every five years, I think it is, um, that 78% of the non-fee-paying schools, which is mainly where we work, um, are only about 78% you know, of those learners in the grade five test don't have basic numeracy at all. So we know that all that 70, all 78% will pretty much drop out of maths. It's been very satisfying that we have found a model that we know this works. We take EGMAS every year, which is early grade maths assessments, and we did a study across 20 of the schools in the Kuruleni South and a control set of 10 schools. And we know from that that we're doubling maths outcomes every year for the learners, which is a big thing. I mean, it doesn't, oh, it's not perfect yet, but it means that we're getting a hell of a lot more learners to the level they need to be at by the end of foundation phase, um, which will make a big difference. It'll mean that a lot of those learners aren't going to be losing maths by grade four and then feeling like they're stupid or dumb or not able the, throughout the rest of their maths careers, which is what is happening with a lot of people at the moment. So well, I think it means a lot. I, I, the first, uh, besides career choices, which are especially future career choices, which are becoming so technological, uh, we know that that's the biggest gap. And I think maths is one of the reasons because they're not getting the conceptual and analytical um, thinking that maths provides in school. But even practically, it's got lots of limitations. So a lot of, we find a lot of learners just know how to count and often count in ones, not even count in tens. And that includes adults as well. So when Jumpstart, uh, when we at Jumpstart are finding that we're getting results that no other program, and we could prove that we've been getting results that other programs haven't been getting, uh, we looked at more aggressively scaling. And that was where Simplexity came in to help us. So we were having growing problems and trying to understand about our capacity. I think we've always tried to keep a really lean management team. So. Part of the trouble was now growing and still trying to manage with the very Indian management team and they helped us with that. 